I think that's about right, isn't it? We'll get straight into it. Shut this laptop up. Got grease all over that. There we is. We need a bit more light on that, shall we say? Should we get some light on? It's better, isn't it? No, not better. Okay, now. Good at this. Is that better? That's better, isn't it? Magic, right? Just absolutely smash a Nando, so I feel like my face is a bit puffy. You know when you've You've had a Nando's and that. Down a bit of water. Look, right, let's get straight into it. Move them nail clippers out of the way. No one wants to see them. It's not hard to believe that I'm back making history again, is it? I reckon I'm the first person to host a documentary about themselves. And, you know, I did try and hire someone else. I, I did. Really? I got the chance to know Delroy, the self proclaimed king of Derby. Has he got ready to open his, reopen his barbershop, proper shape ups? One more time. So you see why? You see why this is the case? I sacked him because he's a bag of nerves. And you can tell that when you watch him and you... Anyway, I, I am a firm believer if you want a job doing, well, you do it yourself, right? Anyway, the premise, why we're here, why are you watching me, sat at home, it comfort me, Gucci cat, you know what I mean? Why are we here? So I'm a, I'm a Derby lad, yeah? King of Derby, there's no negotiating that, that's the truth. So first things first, you want to see a lad from Derby, but why me, right? Seven time Young Barber of the Year award winner. For those who don't know me, which most of you obviously do, I run proper Shape Up's Barbershop, right? Just down off the high street, round about, you know where I am. Um, which is at the minute it's being renovated, so a bit of stop on my income and that, but it's all right, you know, under the mattress and that. So I was sat home, twiddling my thumbs, literally twiddling my thumbs, feet up like that, bang, thinking, what can he do? So I started doing my music. So most of you know, exciting rapper from Derby, Delroy, and I thought, get a little camera, get a little camera, put it, just, just follow me. You know, everyone's doing it these days, aren't they? Netflix and that. TikTok, I don't know if I'll be on TikTok, but I just thought, you know what, save you lot a bit of, bit of bob, you don't have to go down to the cinema. Whack all the clips together, quick, sharp, boom, bang, bosh. You know what I mean? And here we are, you can't teach that. You can't teach that. So, here we are. My phone ringing again. Constantly. FaceTime, who fake? Look, we're gonna get into it because that's gonna keep going off. All right, let me just pause this. Flipping FaceTime. What's he calling me for? Del? Delroy! The city's always been sad to me. It might not be the best place for musicians and creative people, but when I was low, it picked me up, and when I'm high, it keeps me high. I've been here for 25 years of my life, so it's like a, it's like a silver wedding anniversary. What are they saying? Come in? Yeah? Shut down. Yeah, man. Inside and out? Yeah, how much it costs? 15. 15? 12? You gotta you got negotiate with these, man. They work hard. They work hard. So this is my baby. Proper reliable on this. Picked her up in lockdown actually. I call it a seven bill beamer. Or a six bill, seven bill, either way, chump change. It's my mate Andrew. 
all these shops, all these food shops. That B&M, that used to be a summer field back in the day. Go on, my brother. You as well? Cheeky. Ah, ah, ah. Fresh batch just came in from a producer called JR. Filthy rhythms. He's got EPs, albums, everything coming. So I reckon he's a good person to link up with. I'm in the studio today with my guy JR. First time linking up, but it's light. Just about to get into it. We're looking for a sample. Delroy Wilson. You know Delroy Wilson? No, mate. Delroy Wilson's who I was named after. Obviously, my mum was a big fan. And that's why I got the name Delroy. Dancing room. So he's in the studio, same way we are. I mean, I dance, you like it? I dance, you yeah, man. That's, I mean, that's gonna be me on the mic. See it? Yeah. What were the ticks for? That's who played. So when I first got it as a lad, I just ticked off who was playing. This is yours? This is mine, yeah. Daryl Powell. Daryl Powell. Number four, solid. Carbonari. Chris Power played for Chris Power, Power yeah, full back. Number 12, Scott Michael Park, Christie. Scott Parker played. Nasty little Old midfielder. Chesky, Luke Young, Clash Jensen. Look, I'm paying you for this, you know. Come on, let's record. Was this a Premier League uh, team? Yeah, just put it down. Never be match. Yeah, ever. <laughs> paying you good money. First take. Arrive at the party, turn a function to my office. 17, had my own barber's book college. Why'd you stop it? We're recording with the volume up. And if you're wondering about my lovely shirt, it's not a forest shirt. It's a Playboy special, because you know, in certain parts of the city, they think I'm a Playboy. He's on his email, so. Time is money. Not for JR. You ready, Jay? Yeah, man. Do it. College, school days I never concentrated to be honest. Kit Kats, flog and coins weighing down my pocket. Slow it down for them. Arrive at the party, turn the function to my office. 17, had my own barber's for college. School days I never concentrated to be honest. Kit Kats, flog and coins weighing down my pockets. Ex bird left me, oh well, that's more profit. And the new fellas looking like Wallace from Grummy. Like one night stands, right. I'm not one of them done is right. still. 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 I'm fucking with that, you know, JR, you know, my guy. You don't really talk much, do you? The kind of things that I'm talking about, I don't need to be wearing my jewellery, I don't need to be flexing, I'm just... When I'm in the booth, when I'm in the studio, I'm just me. You know what I mean? When I go back outside, I'm Delroy. <laughs> Take a leak. Let's get into the town centre, shall we? People are still passionate about coming out. Rain, sun, snow, sleet. And that's what I love about Derby. There's always an atmosphere. So this is the Derby ramp. If you've been to Derby and you haven't been to the ramp. Hey. Are you, um, what are you up to today? Oh, we're just handing out leaflets, okay. um, trying to raise awareness. We're campaigning for the women's rights network, which nice. is the name for single-sex spaces for women and girls, and, and for men as well. But nice. Just a little bit more information on it. Women's rights network? There you go. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, have a good day, guys. You too. So the ram is actually symbolic. It's a symbol of strength. It's in the heart of the city centre. So the, the feds don't really like the protests. They've got their eye on them. Absolute jobs worth. Jobs worth. That Betfred, I've had some dark times in there. Spent a lot of money in that bastard. To be honest, my early 20s, because of the roulette machine, were, were pretty dim. 
I used to gamble before work, during work, after work, before work. That's a story for another day. Come on, man. I've never walked out the bookies and felt like that. They know what they're doing. Yeah, I remember Delroy. He was always polite when he came in the shop. Always said he was going to be a musician. Oh, God. Um, what else can I tell you about him? He was generous with his tips. I don't mean horse racing tips. We've got enough of that in my line of work. But he was really generous with his money when he won. Oh, yeah, and I remember one Christmas, uh, another thing he did that was generous was he bought us a right spreading from Bird's Bakery. Oh, those elephant's feet. Oh, you won't know what those are, are you? They're really big, like an eclair, but round, shoe pastry, chocolate. He knew that was my favourite. I wonder if he still eats his arabos as well. He always had arabos in his pocket. I remember that. And uh, we always used to advise him to pack it in. It'd be nice to know that he had. And if you have, come and you, you know where I live, come and see me sometime. Bet Fred Bobs is still around. You know what? I can't even drive past birds without popping in, you know. I'm in there that much, they sometimes give me freebies. Morning. How you doing? Just a sausage cob, please. Plain, no. No spread or anything? Nothing, thank you. £3.70. I remember when these were £2.05. I think even Mr. Birds himself is feeling the cost of living. Still going to go back though. There he is now, look. See the truck? Why I love birds. You can't beat it. You've never been able to beat it. You're never gonna beat it. They should hire me for content. It's good stuff, birds. Get down to Derby, get down to birds. Well, I met him in Sun Hill and he, 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 uh, he hustled me from the game of FIFA. I was buying a hat off him. And he come around my house and he come around and said, yeah, oh, I'll a game on FIFA. Oh, okay. He played a game on FIFA with me oh, and I like beat him. Yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, all right. And then, and then he goes, all right, I'll pay you for a tenner. And I'll pay for a tenner and he beat me like 10 minutes. That's, the first, that's what happened the first time. Did it? Yeah, 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 he's like that, isn't he? That's the first thing he did to me. Uh, yeah. yeah, anyway, he, so he beat me all like that and then took that money off me and then I bought the hat off him as well. So I ended up, it like doubled down on the amount of money I was losing. And then we'll just put the best up since really. They said there's never a dull moment round here, but I guess there is. A club full of history. That's Real Madrid about us. Yeah? I remember coming to my first game, I think I was. Three, four, thirty thousand Derby fans all in tandem. Derby till I die, I'm Derby till I die. I know I am, I'm sure I am, I'm Derby till I die. You can have that. You recognise him? It's Brian Clough. Footballing royalty. Rooney. The rest of them, you know. That's the West Stand. That's where the families are. I'm in the South Sand with the Rowdy Kids. You know, my era is sort of Malcolm Christie, Dion Burton, the White Feather himself, Fabrizio Ravanelli. They were the glory days. Mega store. I fell out of love with the club because they had me on trial for about six months. I was nippy, I could use both feet. I wasn't very mobile, but I had a few tricks in my locker. That's Jim Smith. One of my favourite managers, good gaffer. Brought in Malcolm Christie, an absolute legend. It's a 20, 21st century Ramson, an old mate of mine and customer. 
Wayne Rooney when he was in Derby was coming in for Bespoke. All around good guy. Colleen, the rest of the kids. Give him a FaceTime here and there, but get back to the car, it's pissing it down, come on. They know Dell from the boardroom to the high street.